The way that you solve an inequality is very similar to the way that you would solve an equation. The check is just slightly different, so we'll see that when we um, get to that. And then we also have to graph our solution. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a line down here. And my inverse is going to be add 6 to both sides. So that gives me x is greater than or equal to negative 4. A big mistake that a lot of people make is that they're so used to writing equations that when they get down here, they accidentally write x equals negative 4, and then that unfortunately makes their answer wrong, even though they knew exactly what to do. So before I go to graph it, I just want to check. So I can check anything as long as it's greater than or equal to negative 4. Now I'm going to encourage you to never pick this number. Um, you'll see in a, another lesson why I'm encouraging you to never pick this number. You can, but sometimes if you pick that number, it gets you into a little bit of trouble. So I'm going to check uh, 0, if because if I can check 0, I usually pick that. That's my s simplest number to check. So I'll rewrite the equation, uh, inequality, sorry. But instead of x, I will put 0. So I get negative 6 is greater than or equal to negative 10. That is true. So now I'll go to graph it. I'm making a number line, putting negative 4 at the center, and then just giving a little bit on each side. It's going to be a filled in circle, and greater than goes to the right. So i got to remember to color in the arrow tip. Let's try example two. I'm going to drop a line, and here it's plus 1.4, so my inverse is going to be minus 1.4. So that gives me negative 9.4 is greater than x. Now, if you can look at this and think about what numbers you're going to use, usually you want to read it from the variable, so you read x is less than negative 9.4, you can read it as negative 9.4 is greater than x, but um, if you're trying to figure out what value to pick, it helps to read it from the variable. So I need to pick something that is less than negative 9.4. So 0 is not going to work, so I'll pick negative 10. So I'll rewrite the inequality, and instead of x, I'm putting negative 10. So I get negative 8 is greater than negative 8.6. That's true. And so now I will go to graph. Put a negative 9.4. So I'll make this negative 9.3, and this will be negative 9.5. But you can make them really whatever you want, but that's usually how we do it. And then it's going to be an open circle. And since negative 10 worked... I need to make sure that that is the side that's colored in. So I'm going to color into the left. And don't forget the arrow tip. Example 3. On a plane, carry-on bags can weigh no more than 50 pounds. If you think back to the last lesson, we said no more is the symbol less than or equal to. Your bag weighs 24.8 pounds. Write and solve an inequality that represents the amount of weight you can add to the bag. You might be able to just sit in your head and calculate this, but they are asking you to write an inequality, so we have to do it. So 24.8 is what I have right now. And to that, I'm going to add some mystery value, and it has to be no more than 50 pounds. They want me to solve it. So x is less than or equal to 25.2 pounds. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you see me next.